Good morning. We are at the Department of Public Safety, and you're right, Brittany. We only think about how nervous we are when we get pulled over, even if it's just for going three or four miles over the speed limit. You're nervous. You don't want to get a ticket. One of the last things you want to do is get out of your car once you're pulled over because it kind of makes the troopers a little bit nervous, but troopers are always nervous when they pull over a car, just a little uneasy because they don't know what they're about to walk up on. Joining me now is Sergeant Brian Witt with DPS. Um, first, when you first pull a car over, what are you kind of skeptical or uneasy about? Yeah, you're exactly right. <clears throat> Last thing we want you to do is get out of the vehicle, start walking back towards us. Not only does it raise our alert level, but also you endanger yourself being next to the traffic. So stay in your vehicle. As we, we pull you over, what we're going to do is start entering your vehicle information into the computer. Uh, we're going to start looking at how many occupants are in the vehicle. We're going to see what the occupants are doing. Uh, then as we get out and start walking up to the vehicle, we're going to continue to not only monitor the occupants in the vehicle, but also we're going to keep an eye on the traffic. Uh, so as they are walking up to the car, they can kind of see in the background. Yes. What are they looking for as they walk up? We're looking to see how many occupants are in the vehicle, uh, see what the occupants are doing, seeing if there's any kind of movement in the vehicle. We're going to be looking for any kind of weapons, any kind of illegal drugs, alcohol in the vehicle as we approach it. Then we're going to look and see what the, the drivers and occupants are doing, where their hands are at. Can't see their hands. We may ask you to put your hands where we can see them. So as a driver, if I am getting pulled over, what are some good things I can do to um, calm the nerves a bit? During the daytime, you can roll your windows down, your driver window, also your passenger window. That way we can see the back of the vehicle because a lot of these vehicles these days have tinted windows. As so we, maybe roll this down? Yeah. Okay. And we can see in the back of the vehicle as we walk in, then we can see the driver. We want to see your hands up and then we'll direct you at that point what we need. We'll ask for your driver's license, your insurance, your registration if we need it. And uh, just wait till we get up there. You don't have to have start reaching for it before we approach a vehicle. So basically if you're if they haven't asked for it yet and you're reaching down in the glove compartment for your ID, your license, they might think you're reaching for something else, maybe a weapon or something. Exactly. If we walk up and just just be aware, we're not trying to be mean or aggressive if we do see you reaching for something, but we may ask you to redirect your hands where they're at. Right. Please put your hands back on the steering wheel. And that's just for your safety and ours. Okay, thank you so much, Sergeant Brian Witt. Now, he said another thing you can do is turn on this dome light when you first get pulled over so the officer can get and the trooper can get a good uh, view of the inside from the back. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Ashley. It is 820.